So I'm sitting here, I'm waiting on Magnus Carlsen showing up for his, this chess game. I've sent him a little message there and, you know, you would agree he would come down and would would battle over the World Championship, but he, he hasn't he turned up, so... I'm assuming I just win by forfeit and I'm the new world champion, so there you go, there you have it. Morgan Yu, new world champion. Yeah. Take that, Magnus Carlsen. Right. What's down there? Don't know. This is uh quite a big map, isn't it? What have we seen so far? There's the greenhouse. Where did we come in? Somewhere round about there, I think. So that's to Talos One Lobby, right? That's that's where the lift is. Okay. Level one, the guts, the crew quarters. Ah, yeah, that's where. That's where we came in here, and then we went through. We went through some kind of partition and. Oh, I don't know, I'm a bit lost here. Crew quarters, bridge, exterior. We need to get that one open. We need to get the exterior open. Guessing that's that's the bridge. That's one place to look at. Oh, yeah, of course, the crew quarters. We need to go there. Okay. All right, let's just get this place explored. Um, what what I think we'll do, let's keep in mind these canisters are here because they, they might come in handy at some point. Why don't we, now that we've got these tools, right, Let's grab this, and uh, we'll make our way. We'll make our way over to the greenhouse with them. Right, we'll set them up. We'll set them up outside the greenhouse, and uh, got more of the dark cords, man. Yeah, we'll set those up outside the greenhouse, and what we can do, we can just. Our resident counselor, Doctor Cole, would like to encourage anyone experiencing symptoms of disturbed sleep, chronic stress, or anxiety to schedule an appointment in the trauma center. Disturbed sleep. What was it? Anxiety and something else. Right. What I was saying was, we'll set up these turrets here. We'll just open the doors and we'll let everyone come out and uh, basically get killed. There we go. Another one of those. Very nice. Did we get anything new from it? I don't think so. Mind controlled human. No. You know, I don't feel great about it. Don't feel great about it, but look, it's either them or me, isn't it? Greenhouse help. We locked the doors to the greenhouse, but this one flies. Oh, the Typhon flies. We don't have long before it figures out the roof isn't covered. Oh, shit. Five minutes ago, Edna tried making it into the greenhouse before it took her over. She won't stop screaming, yelling at us to stay back. If we can kill the floating thing that affected her, maybe we can save her. If you find this note, please help. Kill it because we won't be ourselves, Rani. Who have we got in here? We got Rodney, we got Mickey, and Rani. Who's the first one that? Who's the? F Do you think we should kill the telepath? Nah. Look, it's it's look. Look, we can't afford to take the risk. We can't have three of these mind control people running at us. It's. I mean, you know, it's a nice thought that all human lives are equal and all that, but you know, in in our in our position, I think I think most people would agree that ours is a lot more valuable. Um, I think that's quite self-evident. You know, I just think that would stand up in a court of law that we're just a lot more important than these people. We have, you know, we have a higher position in the company. Uh, oh, we're, we're a woman, so that that puts us above everyone else too. Uh, it's quite we're a minority race, so I th I think it's quite self-evident that really, really, I think 
I think we should just be, I think we're above these people, let's... Kind of, oh look, there's someone up there. That's kind of the way it looks, isn't it? What is that? Or who is that? I should say. Who are you? Uh, Gennady Miranov. Okay. Nice. We'll check out who that is in, in a second. I can I can see they're there, but we'll, we'll check out who that is in a second. There is a lot to see here, isn't there? There's like a, a lot, a lot to... A lot of little hidden places in this area. It's a very, very cool area. Very different compared to what we've uh, what we've seen before, isn't it? I bet there's tons of shagging that goes on here, eh? Just uh, nipping out for a quickie behind the bushes. All right. What the? F that must just be a. Some kind of environmental trigger. It does that. We will go that way. It's not yet. Yeah, look, we could care about these people, but didn't he think so? They wouldn't they wouldn't do the same for us either, would they? Do you know what I mean? Like, they wouldn't they wouldn't really care about us if the positions were reversed. Oh, look, look, I'll do my best, right? Let's get the telepath's attention. Come on, telly. But you know what? I didn't care. Didn't care. Kill them all. Kill them all. Kill them all, turrets. Do my bidding. Do my bidding. Just kill them, pals. Who cares? Who cares, man? Don't they shoot me, though? Get the telepath. Oh, oh, is he coming out now? Oh shit, he is coming out, isn't he? Look, lads, I think I think we'll move you, right? I don't I don't like having one of them shooting me in the back. Let's go and move you here. Save Rani, didn't he care? Didn't he care, Rani? Didn't he care, Ken? She wouldn't have saved me if the positions were reversed. That bitch used to talk about me in the canteen, I bet. Do you know what I mean, man? Guys, do something! Bloody hell, man. Do something, lads! Lads, do- Jesus, man. Come on. Got it. Got it, man. Easy. Easy. Right, who is this? Mickey Pitt Sr. Ooh, shotgun shells. We'll never use those. This one was Rani. Rani Showbury. Ooh, you've had a bad day, haven't you, Rani? Ooh, not a good time to lose one's head. Yes, indeed. That's, uh, that's no way to get ahead in life, Rani. Oh, yeah. 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 She'll never be the head of a major financial corporation. Ah, another such puns. Right, Rani, look, mate, mate, mate. The thing is, Rani, right? The thing is... 
I, I don't think, I don't think you would have done the same for us, would you? Didn't think so. She had a weapon on her, man. Like, I took out that thing with my weapon, you know, and these two turrets. She could have done the same. She's just silly. It's just silly for coming in here, man. Just silly. Rodney Pool. Ooh, and here's the, uh, here's the, uh, the telepath we destroyed there. Alright, now we're around the back. We've already been here. Edna Burton, we've been around there. Great. Save Rani, like, come on, man. Sunburst banana. We pick these up. Yeah, I thought, I saw, I thought so. I th so I think what we can do I think what that sprinkler thing is, I think it's going to be like a farming area, isn't it? It's going to be like somewhere we can um, uh, farm what do you call it? Farm organic ingredients. Somewhere like this, eh? Because we can come and take these off But I think once these are gone, they're not growing back. Oh, or do we just need to... Do you know what? Maybe maybe we get the sprinkler system. Um, maybe all this grows back once we get the uh, sprinkler system active. Then you can. Moonshade lemon. Man, it's crazy. It's crazy. Um, think about, think about where, um, so many, so many of our, like, staple foods today, um, all come from the, uh, the Amazon. Um, and, you know, it's obvious, so, you know, things like, things like bananas, right? You know, like, bananas, bananas are never gonna be fucking grown in Scotland, right? Bananas are never gonna grow, grow in the UK. Um, but look at things like, uh, look, look at the potato. Um, the, the, I mean, the, the, the potato is a staple, staple vegetable, staple vegetable in, in the UK. Uh, pr pretty much all of our sort of national meals. Uh, Scotland, we got something called stovies. Don't know if you guys know about stovies, but it's, it's basically, basically beef mince and uh, uh, mashed potato. Sort of like all mixed up together. It, it, it doesn't it doesn't it sound great, but it does actually taste pretty good. This is uh, the sort of national food. It's served at uh, it's served at um, you know family family gatherings, um, weddings. Uh, that 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 kind of thing. I've uh, as a musician, I've played at many many weddings. And I've eaten, I've eaten a lot of stovies in my life. Potatoes are just, potatoes are such a, 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 a just a, such a big part of UK, UK culture. Um, and, and European culture as well, actually. Uh, there, there are many, you know, potatoes grow very well in the UK. Um, one of my old girlfriend's, uh, fathers was a potato farmer and he would, um, you know, every every harvest he would drop me off a very large bag of potatoes because um, he was a good lad, and uh, it's crazy. It's crazy to think how big a part they are of um, UK society, and they are they're native to the rainforest. The, the only reason we have them is because uh, you know after America was discovered. Um, you know the the explorers back there um, brought them. You know they brought potatoes with them. Crazy, but they're not exactly. You know when you think when you think of uh, you know when when you think of things that are grown in the rainforest, you don't you don't think oh potatoes. You know, you think about all the exotic fruits and vegetables. You 
You know, there'd be no chocolate. Without the rainforest. You know what I mean? Like, there's all those, like, weirdo fruits and vegetables. Or the avocado. Oh, yeah, so I do like a bit of avocado. Like, come on, man. No one eats avocado. Bet Jenny eats avocado, don't you? Help me! <gasps> Help me! Can me, Matt? Oh, there's turrets down there. Nice. Okay, those turrets can do our bidding for us. Nice. <gasps> Help me! I just wanted an avocado. Bet you do, don't you, Jenny? You love a bit of avocado. Yes, you do. Disruptor battery. We've already got one of those, I think. We've already got plans for one of those. Like, come on, man. Name, name me one person who actually eats avocado in real life. Like, come on. No one. No one. Right, greenhouse, the bridge, Alex Yu's office. Why would he put his office up there? No, I know why his office is up there, right? Because all them employees that are sneaking off for a quickie in the bushes, he's up there watching them like a hawk, right? With his binoculars on, sitting there, fucking wanking off over, over, uh, over Jenny King. Jenny King runs off to the bushes with her avocado, fucking flicking herself off at the thought of eating such, oh, an exotic fruit, oh, 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 you little avocado, oh, you naughty little thing. And Alex Hughes up there with his binoculars on, fucking jacking himself off, man. Nothing up there. Alright, the loading bay. Right, so that takes us to the guts. That's probably like the, um, the proper way in here. Yeah, that way. Let's check, let's check this place out. So this should be safe, because we got, we got two turrets down here. We might move those turrets around. Power's on, that's good to know. Who are you? Lily Morris. Everything go well? Eventually. Had to wait a while. Two assholes from the sales team chose that exact moment to stand under the alarm bell and smoke cigars. So it's off Talos. My clients are eager. Yeah. Just made the last shipment. Should be Earthside by morning, Pacific time. Good. I'll be leaving another package for you after tomorrow's shift. Drop site. The lobby. Assuming it works. Of course it works. Three taps of the wrench. That'll pop it open. All of them will work that way by tomorrow. You're adorable when you get proud of your gadgets. Don't patronize me, Lily. Ho 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 Where is it? Lily, Moller, Lily Morris has been working with Eddie Voss and others on the station to steal company secrets and technology. Eddie set up drop points around Talos for passing these stolen goods off to someone working in Cargo Bay where they were shipped off Talos. Find all six drop points around Talos and recover the stolen goods hidden in them. How do we know there's six drop points? They never mentioned that in the, in the phone call. If we, if we activate that, are there... That's deep storage over there. Let's, let's, let's get rid of all the ones we don't need right now. Don't want deep storage on. We're going to do the uh, lift interference, but let's take it off right now. It's kind of what I thought. The storage, the drop points aren't going to be marked on the map. But that's fine. But how do we know there's six? That was not mentioned. That was not mentioned in the uh, in the phone call. Maybe maybe it was. Maybe it was, and I just didn't. Uh, just wasn't paying attention. Who knows?
Medical bay, okay. Whatever's in here, if there's something in here. Okay. I was going to say, if there's something in here, let's run outside. I'll we'll just let the turrets deal with it. Can we open this to go to the lobby? Uh, well, we'll do that in a second. Oh, do you know what? This actually makes sense because we can go to the lobby and we can get to our office and we can, uh, you know, we can stop we can stop Michaela from uh, reading our search history. I mean, Jesus, man. I mean, she, she got, that could be anyone's cock, you know? She'll never... She can't prove anything. She can't prove anything. Got a ton of these anti-rad pharma fabrication plants. Ton of them. All right. So look, we can't pick this up. We'll need leverage one to pick this up and get through that hatch. Unless. Yeah, there's no way, there's no way we're getting in there, are we? We could use recyclers to do it, that would cost a recycler charge, but I was thinking about getting leverage, I was thinking about, I've been thinking about getting that. Um, thrown objects will damage enemies, because we could probably th start throwing explosive canisters at enemies. Um, that will be, uh, that will be very, very good, we could throw objects further. So it's only one neuro mod. It's a it's a big investment, but you know, I mean, how many have we got? We've only got we've only got eight, so it's not. Uh, we're really we're really pushing it here, but let's let's go and let's go and take this one here. Go and take that. There we go. Right now we have the power. Oh come on, man! Lift it. You have to hold to lift. Okay. Obstruction detected. Please clear aperture of the We go. Very nice. Check the cabinets. Right, hopefully we can get in this one. Yes, we can. Where's this going to take us to? Where is this? I hear you, mate. Is there just one of you? Why is that turret not taking him out? Why is that turret not doing the job? Oh, it's glass. Run this way. Got you. No bend. Easy. Ah. Whoops, run away. Right, wait till that clears. Okay, yeah, so we took that we took that mod that gave us um the uh, chipset that gave us um what do you call it? Gave us uh resistance. Uh what are you doing, man? Come on, st oh, stop this. I didn't mean to do this. Uh, it gave us the resistance to uh, uh, ether, ether damage. Nah, we won't make this. Okay, what I meant to do was repair. And then deploy. Repair this one. Cool. Oh, is that looking glass? 
It is, isn't it? That's that's looking glass. Okay. Good morning, Talos. Warning. We'll check. We'll check that out. Workstations or keypads may result in electric shock. If you're having trouble accessing a system, please send a help alert to QQ. Okay, so we're not. It's not technically marked on the map here, is it? Shotgun shells. Great. We'll never use those. Where are we? This is, uh... This is, uh... A good place for mimics to be hidden. A very good place. I hear another one, it's down there. It's just some kind of storage area. Phantom sounds like it's on the other side of the wall. I don't don't see it above us anyway, put it that way. Don't see anything else down here. We look pretty safe here. Yeah, nothing... Nothing here. This is the other side of that one. Oh! That's... What is this? Some kind of... Door? Some kind of trap door? And up here? Nothing. So what's the point of this place? Geometrical plants? Ooh. A new new uh, new chipset, right, what does this do? Sneak attack restores a small amount of side, it's the same as that one. Can we not recycle these? Don't think so. So nothing nothing here. What's the point in this area? They were hidden as the leaves, weren't they? How do we actually loot them though? Alright. Just some kind of backstage area. I don't see any significance to it. Well, oh, maybe, maybe it'll mean more later on. Now, where's that operator? Come on, lad. Where are you? The dead. It might be dead.
Right, we've got to sort Michaela out, I think. We've got to sort Michaela out. Really? We really can't have her looking at her computer. We've got a right to privacy. Why are the turrets not attacking it? Right, it just wasn't pointing the right way. Okay. Let's look this way as well. This should this should be the uh, the sort of natural way into this area, isn't it? Or not? Maybe not the natural way. I guess. I guess if you're an employee, if you're an employee, you wouldn't come through guts. You would come through the uh, the lift, wouldn't you? You'd come through the uh, the main lift. Can we put this back on? Yeah. Then we're back in here. Great, okay. Good to know. Let's hit the recycler. Rid of all that. What else do we not need? Sci hypos. Bye bye bye. But so many of this food. Uh do you know what? We'll hang on to it just uh just in case. Uh, in case we need to eat. We got two silence pistols. Get rid of that. No, actually, don't don't recycle it. Break it down for parts is what we'll do. Right, we'll recycle this. We'll break this down for parts. How do we do that again? Dismantle. That's it. Dismantle that. Dismantle the shotgun. Great. Done. Where's our spare parts? Suit repair. We've got 20 spare parts. That's tons, man. That's tons. Great. Right. Plenty of ammo for the pistol. Should, uh, should Michaela get too big for her boots? Got the wrench. Uh, we, we, we might we might have to kill her. That's that's the thing, man. Depending on what she's seen, we might have to kill her. Morgan, that Typhon is an unknown type. From what I can tell, it's the source of the problem with the lift. The Phantom you unleashed in Psychotronics had similar disruptive abilities. Only this one seems more powerful. Scanning it would tell you more. Got it. Now, yeah, I've done some stuff out of order, because we've already seen one of these. We saw it in, um... We saw it in the lobby in Neuromod uh, Fabrication. So if we'd have just followed the main quest, we, uh, we might not have, um... This may have been our first time seeing these. Yeah, so we just have two things left to uncover, don't we? Right, did we get any research about it? I don't think so. Yeah, because we saw this thing way back. Took forever, but repairs to the Arboretum airlock doors are finally complete. I think someone's tampering with the electronics up there, right? Yeah. So it's weak to electric. Explosive, psychic, and EMP. Chuck in an EMP grenade. Weak to explosives. We'll see if there's any uh, explosive canisters around here. And uh, yeah, we'll go. We'll go from there. We'll go from there. 
thing wasn't much fun to fight, was it? Hello, good to see you again, Doctor Yu. The operators, it can turn operators against us. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. They have a lot of health, don't they? So they have an ability where they sort of like throw out like a point of like a little point of electrical charge that um, isn't very nice to be around, put it that way. I wonder what happens if we use the stun gun on it. See what happens with this. Right, it does no damage. Okay, yeah, I'm glad we got all this fruit now. Okay, uh, this isn't working. Do we just Q-beam it? Probably. Still hasn't even seen us. Right, so that's that's going to be a problem with the Q-beam. The Q-beam uh, is affected by the EMP charge. Can we just stay hidden for a little bit longer? Well this is looking better isn't it? I think we hit it with the EMP because it's not doing anything at all. It's not usually it's normal abilities. Done. Yes. The code. You should be fine. Good. Take the lift if you need to move quickly between the three main decks on Talos 1. It has a stop in the lobby and down in life support. So now we have a way to uh to move around much much um much faster. That's good. That's good. Who are you? Henrik De, De Vries. We've heard of you before. Henrik De, De Vries's office. Where's his office? Can we find out where his office is? Again, I'd, I'd love I'd love a searchable database here. I love a searchable database. Keys. It's in the lobby somewhere. Don't know where though. Uh, yeah, I think we've met him before. He's um, he's the guy with the uh, one of the, one of the NPCs in Fallout New Vegas. He's got this. He's that. Uh, he's that same voice actor. We've met him before. Mind you, the uh, the in Fallout New Vegas, he voiced many NPCs. So maybe in this game, he's also voicing many characters. I don't know, but what was that? Do no harm, what was that all about? Found a transcribe in the lobby on the body of Henrik de Vries, the head of the trauma centre. Oh! Oh! That, there was, there was an office we couldn't get into in the trauma centre. So how do we download his decryption key? Where do we do that? Where's his decryption key? Probably in his office. 
what I was thinking was we'd need to decrypt the message because it's got the code to his office but no of course we already have the access point to his office so yeah we need to get to the we need to get to the uh, trauma center don't we so we need to get to there the trauma center yeah there we go now we can get in there that's great and then we can get to uh, my office all right nice come on do something let me in oh <laughs> there we go all right so uh lobby please good morning Talos. all personnel should report to their workstations for the day if you expect to be absent for any reason, please inform your immediate supervisor. I wonder if this is a loading screen or if, uh... Oh, shit. Uh... Oh... Okay. Uh... There are a lot of cystoid nests down here now, aren't there? Shit. What is that, Weaver? Phantom Genesis. Is that new? Don't think so. No research about them. Nah, uh, nothing new. Where's all my turrets? <gasps> what was that? What was that? far away. Uh, it's outside of her office, isn't it? Fuck. Is there any other way into her office? I don't think so. Shit. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Right, don't care about the weaver, don't care about this shit. Really fast, man. Okay, what the fuck is this? Generation scannable targets nightmare. Reduced duration of fear attacks. Okay, what the fuck is this thing? The entry's found. Contact Kelsrap. Morgan's notes. Typhon responds to an anomaly in their ecology, something that's like them but isn't. Me. What do you mean something that's like them? Something that's like them. Why am I like them? Because of the neuron mods I have installed. Its purpose seems to hunt us down. How the fuck do we... Oh, fuck. It made a beeline like right for us, didn't it? Evade or kill the nightmare. Yeah, I think what we'll do, I think what we'll do is, is uh, I think what we'll do, I think what we'll do, lads, um, I think what we'll do is, is uh, evade it, shall we, lads? Um, I mean, we could kill it, I, you know, it could do, I just, uh, I kind of feel sorry for it, to be honest. Uh, do you know what I mean? It's like, I don't think we should, I think we should, like, live and let live, do you know what I mean, man? Um, it's not really my place to say who gets to live and who doesn't. <laughs> uh, you think about the sort of, like, morality of what we're, what we're doing here. I don't think it's, I don't think it's right that we should be, um... 
I don't think it's right that we should be. I don't think it's right. You do not share anything else about me. Not even. Only the details of your condition, Lucian, and only because they might place the station in danger. Both lads, lads, lads. Oh, Alex. <laughs> Well, well, she's dead. January, do something. There we go. There we go. Go away. Go away. Okay. All right. Um. Well. Eh, we were probably gonna kill her anyway. <laughs> <laughs>